Hello and welcome to this introduction to the course on polymers. Uh, in this course, we will learn concepts related to polymers. We will learn about uh, where they are used, where their uh, applications are. We will learn about estimating the properties and making decisions which are related to design uh, and material selection. Uh, we will also learn about uh, the overall sustainability when we use these polymers in various applications. Uh, just to begin with, uh, we can begin with the thought about, uh, you know, where are polymers? Basically, polymers are everywhere. Uh, life is based on polymers. If you really see, uh, polymers are there in our bodies. They are as part of DNA, RNA. Uh, polymers are there in cellulose and starch. When we look at the plant world around us, from microorganisms to all the way to us, everywhere there are uh, macromolecules. Similarly, when we look around us in our day-to-day -day life, there are plastic objects everywhere, whether it's soap case or whether it's a shoe that I'm wearing. What we can see is the use of plastics, rubbers, FRP is very dominant in our lives. So what is the reason for this? What are the basic concepts related to polymers which make such a thing possible? So these are the, some of the things which we are going to discuss in this course. Of course, uh, not just related to familiarity of plastics, familiarity of polymers all around us, with the next aspect is also related to the futuristic applications of these polymers. When we want to use polymers in applications where you might not have heard of them before. For example, when we think of a chip, an electronic chip, we think of silicon. But these days we can make polymers, transistors also. Similarly, solar cells can be made out also out of polymers. So you can see that uh, polymers can be used in wide-ranging applications from aerospace to biomedical implants within our bodies. For example, if we think of robots, generally we think of robots as very stiff objects because they are made of rigid materials. But what if they are made of soft and variable property materials like just the way we are? So all these futuristic applications also, polymers have a huge role to play. Of course, there is a big question also. You know, we hear a lot Whenever there is plastics, rubbers, all of these, they are everywhere as waste materials also. What happens to them once we are using, finished using them? You know, what do we do with them? How do we recycle them? How do we reuse them? Can we also make them out of materials which are renewable so that we have sustainable materials with us? So therefore, in this course, we have modules which are designed to look at all these varying gamuts associated with polymers. We learn the concepts, we learn how to look at the properties and their applications, but most importantly, we will also look at what is the sustainability with these polymers. And uh, to do this very effectively, what we are, we are going to do is to look at in this 12 weeks course, uh, initially we will start with structure and properties of these materials, then we will also look at how they are made, fabricated, and uh, for those of you who are uh, preparing for GATE and other such exams, uh, what I have also tried to do is mapped on a lot of contents in this course to what is there in syllabi of these, co co these exams. For example, here it's uh, shown how uh, the subjects uh, that I'm going to be talking about are related to the GATE syllabus. And of course, all of this will be done using exercises, assignments, and whole lot of uh, visual aids. For example, I'll try to connect one lecture to the other by giving you pointers because no concept can be learned in isolation. Everything is related to each other. We will also try to learn by graphical means, by estimating and uh, measuring properties, by thinking going beyond whatever already has been discussed. And uh, in all of this, we will have questions and problems which will make you think and make you understand many of these issues related to polymers. A uh, lot often, some of the concepts which are needed in this course may not be covered in this course. So I'll try to give you pointers as to how you have to go do a little bit of outside reading and then come back and understand. So with all these features that are there and along with some of the questions which already have been posed in the national exams, we'll also look at and therefore uh, try to get a complete understanding of polymers, their applications and their sustainability. So. Please join the course and let's have fun learning about polymers. Thank you.